What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films. So this is gonna be my introduction to the Blackmagic Micro Cinema Camera versus Panasonic GH5 series that I have. So I need your help. What do you wanna see uh, as far as tests go between these cameras? What would you like for me to test? I have a couple of ideas, but if you guys have any other ideas that you would like to see between these two cameras, let me know in the comments below so I can go ahead and test that out for you. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I went ahead and put on the micro cinema camera just to see if it works because I did get this from eBay so it looks like it's working. Got the GH5 right here. So stay tuned, we got some stuff going on. It's gonna be awesome. All right guys, so the GH5 weighs in at two pounds with the Metabone Speed Booster batteries, memory card, and uh, quick release plate. Uh, the GH5 has V-Log if you buy it. GH5 has 4K and the GH5 has an LCD screen. Now, these are just the main points. I know we're gonna get into detail later testing all these camera stuff and settings for you guys. All right, so the micro cinema camera comes in at 2.4 pounds and you can probably see why. It has a monitor on top. It has a hot shoe adapter, quick release plate, two batteries because the monitor has a battery. So for this setup, it's at 2.4 pounds. It's a lot more heavier than the GH5. The micro cinema camera has raw and BMD color science. The micro cinema has 1080p. And the micro, you have to buy an LCD screen because it does not come with one. So I'm very excited about these two cameras and we're gonna test it out. But like I said in the intro video, let me know what you would like to see. Got some exciting stuff coming in. So yeah, peace.